oh, you're cute and you love Jesus, then oh, we like each other. Are you my husband? Are you my husband? Are you my husband? If you or somebody you know is on the husband hunt, like you are looking, you are searching, whether you're young or old or whomever, whatever age, this video is for you. Yeah, let's do this. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hey, what's up, it's HJ. Husband hunt. I just came up with that title right now. It's kind of dope, right? Okay, so whenever I was younger and I was in youth group, our youth group was like half ministry, half Christian mingle. I always remember the youth group teaching us that we date to get married, which is true. As Christians, we're not just sitting around looking for somebody to be, uh, I don't know, like friends with benefits with or somebody to just be besties with. Like we can get a girl if we need a bestie or, so like we know what we're doing when we enter a relationship as a Christian, we're looking for a husband and so, I just wanted to clarify all of that because I feel like a lot of youth groups turn into Christian mingle real quick. Which is really weird considering we're not in a place to be married at that time. And if you're older and you're not in youth group, I promise this video is still for you, so just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, okay? This is my mindset as a young person, and this may be your mindset whether you're young or old, whatever. Well, if we date to get married, and we decided to start dating, that automatically must mean that we're going to get married. So then we get the girls with the overblown emotions, the overblown like ideas and fantasies about your future with this person one week, one day, one hour into a relationship just because you're dating now, that must mean that we're obviously gonna be married. That's not true. And instead of really just taking time to get to know somebody, like know their last name, what are their goals in life, who are they as a Christian? Because not every dude that walks up in a youth group or walks into your life as an adult or walks into your coffee shop or walks into your young adults group or your church pews that says, oh, I love Jesus and lifts their hand during worship is a, a Christian, B, if they are a Christian, a strong enough Christian to lead you as a man of God and as a husband to begin with. We put our emotions before really our discernment that God told us to be discerning. God told us to judge, not a hypocritical judgment, which scripture does speak against, but a righteous judgment where we as Christians are supposed to watch and look and listen and pay attention. Like, are you acting like a Christian? Like, do I see growth? Do I see spiritual fruit? Do I see you serving and loving others? And so then what can happen to us as crazy emotional girls, we get into this relationship, we throw all of our heart, all of our emotion, all of our dreams and everything and we attach ourselves so deeply to this man or this boy or this young man or whomever without any wisdom or any discernment and then we're six months down the line into the relationship, we're like, wait a second. He don't treat his mama right. Wait a second, he sucks at tipping. Wait a second, he sucks at serving. Wait a second, he can't even read his Bible. Uh, he can't even read. How did I not catch that he can't even read for six months of our relationship? When you're finding all these things out about the person and you're just like, well, I never really wanted that in a husband and that doesn't really seem right and this doesn't really seem biblical and these things about him aren't even in place for him to be a husband for me but it's six months in and I'm already so in love because I threw all my heart and all my emotions and I started making an entire future with somebody that I barely even know. I'll just pray that God changes him and God grows him and I'll try to work on him too. So me, me and you Jesus, we gonna tag team, all right? All right, okay, cool. And you try to tag team in with Jesus and think that you can change a person. People who have wisdom, godly grounded wisdom in our life are like, what are you doing? This is not a good situation. People are like, hello, look at what's happening. Look at what's in front of you. But you're just so involved. And it all started that first day, week, month, that instead of just slowing down and taking your time to get to know somebody, you threw your heart into the hands of somebody you didn't even know, all because, well, we're dating, that must mean that we're getting married. And so I just wanted to warn you against that. If you were in that situation, seek counsel in your church. If you're on the husband hunt, get to know somebody from afar first. And what I mean by that is, if you say, oh, he's cute and he loves Jesus at my church and I think I might like him, get him in group settings. Talk about, see how he interacts with their people in good moments, in bad moments, when he's happy, when he's frustrated, when he's mad. How much does he really love Jesus? How much of his scripture does he really know? 
how much can he really lead somebody? Like, how deep is he in his Christian walk with God? And how strong is he in his faith? Does your theology match up? Do you guys believe the same things? Just make sure that he's not some crazy kook that you could have totally thrown your heart in his hands, not knowing just because he's fine and he loves Jesus. I was totally that person for like, Years. One, two, three, four people before Roman. Don't let your heart and your emotions lead you. I know the world says, follow your heart. But the Bible also says that your heart is wickedly deceitful above everything and that we need to submit it to the Lord. We need the Lord to change our heart, to grow our heart, to shape our heart into his image because our heart is bent towards sin. It's inclined to do what we want and what we feel is the best. So actually don't let your heart lead you. Let Christ lead you. Let his word lead you. Let his wisdom lead you. I love you guys. And I really hope that everybody does have a super happy, healthy, amazing relationship if you're in one or if you get into one. And hopefully this is just a tool that you can use and share it with other people. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button, okay? The little bell on the front of my page, make sure to hit that, get the notification so you can get updated every time I have a new video coming out, which is twice a week. So you'll definitely want those notifications. I love you guys and I'll see you later.